Hey POCC family, thanks for giving us a minute of your day today. And we're so excited. We had a lot of people coming back to church this last weekend. Uh, we had 155 uh, throughout the weekend. And it was so amazing to see that. Uh, we had a great start to our lighthouse service on Thursday night with all the young adults coming and just hanging out, talking to each other and the community that was happening there. And we're praying for that to grow and build as well. So we're excited about a lot of things happening here. We're also excited about a few community outreach events that are coming up back to back here. We have the Port Orange Family Days. It's gonna be October 14th and 15th. We're gonna have a booth out there. And if you've never been to it before, it's at the city center in Port Orange, it's beautiful scenery, and there's just gonna be booths everywhere. It's a business expo. It's gonna be happening from Saturday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. and on Sunday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. And so we need help that's, that's able to come out and help us out with that. Uh, we're going to have people there the whole time on Saturday, the whole time on Sunday, and uh, we need set up on Friday and tear down on Sunday and all those things. Uh, there's a sign-up sheet here that you can go online and, and sign up for, for that. And there's also Fall Festival that takes place right on our church campus. That takes place on Saturday, October 21st. It's going to be from 12 to 4 p.m. Uh, and we've had just a ton of this is one of the biggest things we do at our church all year round as far as having people on our campus the last couple of years we've had about 1200 uh, a couple of years ago we had about 1500 on our on our campus so it's a huge event and we need lots and lots and lots of help uh, if you would like to sign up for that you can do so here as well also this coming sunday we're going to have a very very short very brief meeting right after church no lunch involved, we're gonna get you out so you can go and have lunch with your families. Uh, but this is basically just to kind of give you a very quick overview of what we're gonna be expecting at Family Days and at Fall Festival and to get you to sign up and to help you sign up if you would like that help. We're gonna make a change to the time we do our traditional worship service. We are gonna have our traditional worship service tomorrow night at 6.30 p.m. at its normal time that we've been doing over the last couple months. We are gonna do our third Wednesday potluck dinner tomorrow night at 5 30 so we're going to have that first bring enough for yourself and a few others uh, to be able to enjoy dinner together so fellowship time and then at 6 30 we're going to have our worship service and then next week our church staff's going to be at the spire conference up in nashville tennessee it's a christian church conference so our whole staff's going to be there and so we're not going to have traditional service next wednesday night and we're not having the lighthouse next Thursday night. But then on the very next week, our traditional service is moving back to Thursday mornings at 10.30 a.m. That will start on October the 5th. And so we're very much looking forward to getting back onto Thursday mornings. That's when our traditional service started. That was its original time. And I know some people that are excited to get back to doing that again. So we look forward to seeing you tomorrow night, 6.30 p.m., 5.30 for the dinner, and then October 5th. Uh, we'll be meeting on Thursday mornings at 10.30 a.m. This coming Sunday, we're going to be looking at the last of our It's Good to Be King series. This week, we're going to be looking into a kingdom that's torn in two. Uh, we're looking into 1 Kings chapter 12 through 16 this week. You know, last week we talked about being put into this uh, lukewarm bath, and you, sometimes you get kind of cooked after a while and you don't even realize it's happening. You know, sometimes aviators might say when they're waiting for a crash to happen that the accidents already happened. They're just waiting for the crash to come. Uh, that can happen in our lives as well, and this week we're going to be looking at the story of Rehoboam, who was Solomon's son, who became king over Israel, and also Jeroboam, who also became king of Israel, and we're going to look at how all that played out and how things happened beforehand that set things in motion, and so we're going to see how that's applicable in our lives on a day-to-day -day basis. We would love for you to reach out to us, especially if you have care and prayer needs, and I hope to be able to see you at some point this weekend.